So, you want to learn how to solve a two by two using the beginner's methods. Let's get started. Here we have a regular two by two, and I'm gonna make this video as easy to follow as I possibly can. So this is created primarily for beginners, people that have never picked up a two by two in their life. Uh, let's dive on in and see if we can get this solved. So first thing you need to know is notation. Now the notation of a two by two is, it's just how we follow algorithms along. So you'll see an algorithm, which I'll pop in the middle of the screen now. And all this is, is it's just a sequence of moves. So in this example, we have got R, we're turning the right layer, U, we're turning the upper layer, L, we're turning the left layer, B, we're gonna turn the back layer. Now notice that I turned it anti-clockwise, and now we've got F, I'm turning the front layer. Now, when you see the letters without an apostrophe, you turn it clockwise. And if you see an apostrophe after the letter, you turn it anti-clockwise. So this is F and this is F prime. R and R prime. And it's always clockwise or anti-clockwise as you look at the face. So B, you'd go like this because if you're looking at the back face, that is clockwise and that is anti-clockwise. So B prime would be this, because as you're looking at the back face, that way is clockwise. And one other thing you need to know is a number two after the letter means you turn that layer twice. So a U two would be one, two. And the L2 would be one, two. And that is that. So let's dive on in and learn how to solve the two by two. We're gonna break this down into a few different steps. Step one, we're gonna solve the first layer. So all of this, we're gonna solve the white side first. Then we're gonna turn our two by two over. We're gonna solve the yellow side. And that will leave us with one of two algorithms that we need to use and that will solve the whole cube. So this is really, really simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find the white, orange, and blue corner. Just for this example, um, you can obviously start with whichever piece you want, but in this example, it's gonna be white, orange, blue. Now, what we wanna do is find the other white and orange corner. So luckily, ours is here. So all we wanna do is we wanna get this piece rotated. So how do we do that? If we move it this way, it ends up on the top layer, but it's in the wrong spot. If we go down, it ends up down here. But if you notice, we've got no other white pieces on the top, so we haven't got to preserve anything. It doesn't matter if we use these back two um, slots, we can do whatever we want with them because there's no white pieces in it. We haven't solved anything yet. So all we're gonna do, if you've got this case, we can bring it down so it's on the bottom layer, we can then rotate it so it's back here and we can just bring it up to make a pair. So we've got the two white pieces on top and we've got two orange pieces here. So that one is now solved. Now what we're going to do is rotate our cube around and we'll solve this piece. This piece should be white and green, white and green. So we want to find the other white and green piece, which is here and we need to get this up here somehow. We can't go like this because white is on the wrong side. And if we go like this, we knock this piece out of the way. Remember, these are solved. This is correct. So how do we get this up here without ruining this bit? And the easiest way to think about this is to move it out of the way. We can now bring this piece up and then we can bring these ones back. Let me just undo that move. So, try and picture this in your head. We move this one up, but it breaks this pair. So why don't we move this pair out of the way, bring this one up, and then bring the pair back. Really simple. And that's the way I like to try and get this across. So we need to learn how the pieces interact with each other, how they move around the cube, and then it becomes sort of intuitive. 
Rather than just giving you algorithms and telling you this is why we do it, we need to find out how the pieces move and how it affects the rest of the puzzle. So we've got one more slot to do. Here we just need to look around the cube until we find the other white piece. And again, if we move this up to make the pair, we ruin this one. So how do we get around that? We move it out of the way. So we've moved them out of the way. We can bring this piece up to create the pair. And then we bring this pair back up. Really simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scramble the cube again and we'll do it one more time. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is we're going to start with, I'll tell you what, let's start with white, green and orange. So we need to find the white and green piece to go in here. So, ah, oh, here it is. So we're going to hold it beneath where we want it to go. So we want it to go up here. So we need to hold it down here. And again, if we move it like this, we're knocking this piece out of the way. So let's move this bit back. We can bring this one up and then we can bring it back to create a pair. Now let's rotate our cube so that we've got a free slot here in the bottom right corner of the top layer. And what should it be? It should be white and red. So let's rotate our cube until we find the white and red piece. Here it is. We're going to hold it beneath where we want it to go. And again, we can't just go up. We need to move our pair out of the way. Now we can bring it up and now we can bring our pair back. And that solved that one. Now, this one's a little bit harder because it's on the bottom. We can't just go like this. Again, we're ruining this, but it's in the wrong slot. It should be on top, not on front. We can't do a U2, or we can't do an R2, sorry, because it shouldn't be here either. So how do we solve this one? What we want to do, this is where we're going to have to follow an algorithm. If we do R prime, to bring it back here, if we now do D2 to put it over here, we move the white back, making sure it's still solved, which it is. But all we've done is we've moved it from down here where the green one is to on the front. And we know this algorithm, we can't go like that, but we can move these to the back, bring this piece up to create the pair and then bring our original pair back down. And that is how we solve the first layer of the two by two using the beginner's method. I'll do it one more time. Okay, this time we're gonna go a little bit faster and we're gonna start with the white, blue and red corner. So I'm gonna look for white and blue, which is down here. I'm gonna hold it beneath where I want it to go and I'm just gonna move it in. Next, we've got white and orange. So we need to find the white and orange piece, which is over here. Always hold your white ones facing up, your white top layer pointing upwards. And we need to get this piece over here. So what we can do, because this slot at the back is empty, if we just put this down here, we can just do an R2 to bring it up. You don't have to worry about ruining anything back here because the piece that's back here isn't solved anyway, it's yellow. We can just bring it up. And our last one is white and green. So it's over here. Rotate it beneath where it needs to go. And now I want to do the same algorithm as before, which was R prime, D2, R, and that puts it on this layer. And then we can just bring our pair out, bring this one up, and then bring our pair back. So that is step one. We've solved the white face, now on to step two. So flip your cube over, put it white side down on the table, and we're gonna have one of seven cases. Now, what we need to do is figure out which case we have. I'll flash the cases up on the screen now. We need to figure out which case we have and use that corresponding algorithm to solve the top layer or bring all the yellows to the top layer. Now, I'm gonna go through the cases one by one. We'll have the cases along the side of the screen with the algorithm at the bottom of the screen, and we're just gonna go through them. So, case number one is a soon, and this is the algorithm. K 
case number two is the reverse of that. We call it an anti-soon. Case number three is when we've got headlights pointing to the right and to the left, like this. And we just want to do this algorithm. If we're going a little bit quick, you might just want to slow the video down just so you can follow along. Case number four is when we've got a block on top and we've got a block on the left, and then we just do this algorithm. Case number five is when we've got a block on the left, one pointing towards us, one pointing away. Case number six is when we've got a block on top and then we've got one pointing towards us, one pointing away. Case number seven is when we've got a two yellows on top in diagonals. We've got one pointing left, one pointing up, sort of a reverse L shape. Once you've figured out which case you've got and you've performed the algorithm, you should have whites solved on the bottom layer and all of your yellows should be solved on the top layer. Okay, on to step three. Step three is when we have a solved bottom layer. We've got all the yellows on the top and we've got one of two cases. We'll either have a block where one whole face is solved and we need to swap these two corners or we'll have another case where we need to swap these two corners, the diagonals. Now there's two separate algorithms. I'll put them both on the screen as we get to them, just so you can follow along. But starting with this one, we need to swap the diagonals. So this corner here, this corner here, we do this algorithm. And that will solve our two by two. If however you have this case where you've got a block on your left and you need to swap these two, so this corner here and this corner here, we want to do a T-perm or this algorithm. Again, if we went a little bit too fast, you can pause the video, follow along with the algorithm or follow along just with the moves we're making. However, that should leave you with a completely solved two by two. What I'm gonna do now is just give it a little scramble and we'll run through it one more time really quickly. Okay, so we're starting with the white and orange corner on the top layer. I'm gonna find the other white and orange, which is here. Pop that in. Now we need white and green. So white and green is here. Hold it beneath where we want it. We can just move it straight in. And now we've got the white and red hold it beneath where we want it. I can't move it in, but I can move the back pair out of the way, move this one up and bring the back pair back up to the top. Then we turn it over, we figure out which case we have. So this is the anti-soon. So all we gotta do is set it up as in the picture. Perform the algorithm. That will bring all of the yellow pieces to the top. Then we need to figure out if we've got a block on the top layer, which we do. So this is the second algorithm we learned, which was the T-perm, to put this corner here and this corner here. And that is solved. So that is how we solve a two by two using the beginner's method. Once you've got this down to a T, you can move on to the Ortega method. Now the Ortega method is slightly more advanced, but still really simple. Thank you for watching guys. As always, if you have any tips or advice on how we could improve these videos, please do let us know. See you in the next one.